I'm from South London, so I don't know exactly what other people's perceptions of the area are. What I do know is that some of the poorest boroughs of London are in South London. The most ethnically diverse boroughs of London are in South London. So Beyond the Classroom is an education social enterprise. Our objective is to revolutionise education so that young people are all able to reach their aspirations and reach their full potential. We realise that whilst it's important to develop that sense of self-worth, self-value, self-esteem, resilience, it's important to have those things. It's also important when you come from a low income background that you have an aspiration that will take you further than what your environment tells you you're capable of. We've had some students come in from school, three young ladies who have uh, been involved in uh, this work program where the first day they shadowed three of my colleagues and had some experiences that they might get in the actual real world work. They had an interview, they had to do some of the actual work that we do, work with spreadsheets and taking notes like we would do in, in our everyday jobs. Then the past two days they've been working on a project which we've designed which they need to present tomorrow in front of the audience. They are fairly young, they don't have experience um, in the corporate world and that was really showing at the start of the week. What's been really exciting about it is over the week they have really built their confidence. They are bright girls, they're ambitious, they're very, very hard working. I wanted to get involved into the programme because I saw that it would open a brighter future for me and it would, you know, open a variety of careers I could go into. Not many young people like us have anyone to look up to, so going to uh, places like this and joining programmes like Beyond the Classroom really can make a difference in the lifestyle you'll live in the future because you come here and you see people working, determined, they love their work. And that just makes you want to think, wow, I want to be like them in the future, and you, it just motivates you. I have high aspirations for these young people. I have high expectations for them. But even I've been surprised by how well they're doing. Even I have walked into rooms, seen them give a practice presentation, get feedback, and then just start implementing that feedback within their team and literally starting their own little companies. You have 11 young people who stood on the stage of an auditorium and delivered a presentation. That is really, really hard. And I'd like to think in a small way that they will remember their experience with Aviva and the other firms, and that will take them a long way in the future. I was so impressed with their presentation and the overall job that they've done. The way they've worked together and the way they've really solved a problem is actually a real life issue for us. The world is a diverse place now and everything is connected. You can't just stay in your silos. We're consultants as well and our clients are becoming more diverse. We need to be more diverse and matching that. Corporate social responsibility should really just be people social responsibility. Having different perspectives, working with people from different backgrounds can only strengthen a team. It's been amazing to see, like I say, just how thoughtful the organisations, particularly Milliman, have been in devising the content for this programme. I always prefer to use the term investment because when you invest in something, you start with the view that that thing is valuable. And as a result, having people from all of those different backgrounds in your organisation is going to have an impact on the way that your organisation works and the ideas you're able to generate as a result of that. So I want organisations to support programmes like this because they believe that it's good for everyone. It's not just a good thing for that young person. It's a good thing for me, for you and for the economy. All of these organisations are global and will do better by having a variety of perspectives um, speak for them and with them and as part of them.